If you think you know Victoria, then you better put your walking shoes on because we're about to take you on an art trail unlike any other. Enrich, the frequent flyer program of Malaysia Airlines, rewarded six of its loyal members with an unforgettable trip to see Melbourne from a different angle. They were treated to a bespoke journey designed especially for them to experience true winter luxury. This is Australia's largest art gallery, the Silo Art Trail. It is a 200 kilometer long route deep in Victoria's Wild West that is dotted with old wheat silos that have been painted with murals. The art depicts the lives and cultures of the people who live within the area, the sheep and wheat farmers and the Aboriginal communities. We really wanted to do something uniquely Australian, so we started thinking about what kind of objects there were in uh, regional Australia to paint, and we came up with the idea of painting uh, silos, which, you know, what could be better? They're 10 stories high, and uh, yeah, they're just the perfect canvas. When we came here, it was like, wow, you know, like something for us to look forward to. I think it is something that, you know, people really need to, like, you know, try to come and uh, visualize. Melbourne's iconic trams are the best way to see all of the city's best attractions and it's free within the CBD area. Hosier Lane and its connecting lanes are a street art lover's gold mine. There are so many examples here that you won't immediately see where one ends and the other begins. The best times to get down the lanes, uh, I think, are either early morning, about 9.30, 10 o'clock. Uh, it's a nice time, it's sort of a fresh morning activity. And the other best time, I think, is about dusk. You get a bit of light and a bit of dark because the lanes change a bit. You get the artificial light come in, it gives them all different colours. And uh, also little bars and cafes open up. And it's just a completely different buzz. It is the ultimate photo opportunity, but more than that, it is a window into Melbourne's evolving culture. Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, Andy Warhol and Jeff Koons, they are all here today. The National Gallery of Victoria houses more than 70,000 international Australian and Aboriginal artworks and is the most visited museum in Australia. It also regularly hosts collections from museums around the world, like this one from none other than the Museum of Modern Art in New York. What makes a Melbourne cafe very specific? And this is important, because no one's quite worked this out. Some people have a little bit, but back in the day, even in the US, I'd find delicious coffee, but it would be just coffee and some donuts. Or I'd find delicious food and terrible coffee, you know. We bring together, I think, we're the first to bring it together, delicious coffee and delicious food. That's the magic and that's the difference. So what else can Melbourne pitch at you? Whether you're into some old school magic or the campy brilliance of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, this city has it on show. Uh, the visit of us had uh, fantastic special effects, uh, fine props, dazzling costumes, and amazing musicals. It's really a breathtaking experience for me. I'm sure it's for you as yeah, well. Yeah, I was really wild. The night doesn't need to end after the curtain falls. Clubs, coffee bars and pubs, they're all waiting. <laughs> <laughs>